Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this in this set of tutorials, we'll be covering the third chapter, guys. In this, in the main concept of this chapter is all about combinational circuits, guys. We'll be going through all different types of combinational circuits, and this is an easiest chapter, guys, among the whole syllabus. As if I say every chapter is easy, it's easy, really. To be frank, it's really easy. So basically, let us learn in this video what is a combinational circuit and what is a sequential circuit. So we will be going in depth in it and I'm going to give you a 100% clarity on it, guys. So basically, logical circuits. I hope everyone knows logical circuits. A circuit which are made with logic gates are the logical circuits. Okay. So basically, logical circuits for digital system may be divided into two types, guys, majorly. One will be the combinational and another one will be the sequential. Okay. So, combinational. Basically, let's go through combinational now. Combinational circuit. It consists of logic gates whose outputs at any time are determined from only present combination of inputs. So, it is nothing but it only depends on the present input, guys. So, whatever the input is given, for that the output will be coming. So, uh, now I hope everyone got a small idea on what is a combinational circuit now let us go through sequential circuit sequential circuit okay a sequence okay the combination circuit will be something like this guys if you give n outputs it's going to give m outputs so it completely depends on present input that's the main thing that you should remember about combinational circuit guys so now i hope everyone is now clear with combinational circuit so now let us go through sequential circuit guys. So basically sequential circuit is nothing but it also it has an extra storage guys in which we will be storing our previous output. So it is a combinational circuit with a memory such that it the memory stores the previous output and it is given as an input to the combinational circuit. So it is nothing but the output depends on the previous output plus present input. So now I hope everyone got a small idea on what is combinational circuit and what is sequential circuit. So let us go through some differences guys. This is a, this is one of the printout that I have just got from my classwork. So basically parameters. So let us go through parameters, combinational circuit, sequential circuit. So now I hope everyone got the main role. So output depends upon in combinational circuits it present on a particular instant of time that is nothing but it, pre it it depends only on the present inputs. So in sequential circuit it's going to depend on present inputs and the past outputs guys not input on the past output. So basically combinational circuit will not have any memory and sequential circuit will have memory as it stores the previous data. So combinational circuit no need any clock input and sequential circuit needs clock input. Guys, we will be going through the clock input in the next chapter. Guys, don't worry. Clock input is nothing but synchronous and asynchronous. We will be going through it. Don't worry. So basically, let us go through now all about... Okay. Okay, let us go through some examples of combinational circuits. So combinational circuits example are adder and subtractor. So now I hope everyone got the small idea on what are combinational examples. So sequential are nothing but the flip-flops and shift registers. Guys, this is our fourth chapter completely and this is our third chapter completely. So now I hope everyone got a small idea on our syllabus now. So in the next tutorial, we'll be going through the analysis of a given circuit. Guys, that's a really, really important topic, guys. Don't miss the next video. Thank you. Thanks for watching.